Okay, so we have mentioned this a few times. You want to regularly check your website. With the Legacy Builder program, we are working with several different programs that integrate with each other, and links can get broken. You might do something in System.io that you don't realize reacts with PayPal or vice versa. So you just want to regularly check, you know, maybe once a month, once every couple of weeks. So just to do that, all we're going to do is open up your browser. Now, I like to do this in a private mode just so it doesn't remember the settings. So in Firefox, if you're using Firefox, just open a new private window. Or if you're using Chrome, go up to the top right corner and go to new incognito window. All right. And then all you're going to do is type in your website. So mine is www.earnwithnicoledaily.com. All right. So now this is bringing up my capture page, which is perfect. This is exactly what you want to see. You want your customers to enter their email address. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my, um, my test email. All right. And then I'm going to click on yes, get my blueprint. And as it should, here's Michelle video. Here's Michelle's video. So great. That's what we expect. Now we want to make sure we can get to our sales page. So click on yes, I'm ready. And there it is. There's my, my sales page. So I'm going to start scrolling through. Just going to check. Yep, that's my bio. That all still looks good. Uh, just take a look through all of this. And then you also want to just take a look through all the buttons. So here's a button there. Click on yes. And okay, there's the 900, as I would expect. Uh, I can still accept a credit card. I can still accept a PayPal payment. And I still have my buy now button. So everything is working as I expect to. Now, if something is off, you will want to take a look and figure out what that is. Either reach out to uh, tech support or go back through your training and um, post a question in the community, or if you want to have it checked for you, there are services through myself, through the community that you can have it, uh, you can have somebody to pay, pay somebody to check that over for you. So we'd be happy to do that. And then just the last thing to remember is if you have tested with that email previously, you're not going to get your automated emails again. So if you want to test at that part, you're going to want to use an email that you have never used before. Once you've gone through all your buttons, if everything looks great, you can be confident you can get your website back out there and uh, promoting your business.